What's up, Eli? Hey, dude. How's it going? Uh, pretty good, my man. I want to play basketball, an unreleased game. Oh, I heard so much about this. Yeah, it's Mike and Greg's uh, new game. Mike and Greg are the cats behind, uh, I can never say the game right, Slopsky or Slopsky or? Solopsky? 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 I don't know. Great indie game. That's not that cool game with the skiing guy. Yeah, and it's not so much about skiing as it is about like endless running or painting kind of like your line. The same way basketball isn't so much about uh, basketball as it is puzzle gameplay. So in this game, you shoot a basketball into a hoop, right? You have to do it in a very specific way. Horse rules. You have to hit the bumper that the uh, campaign indicates that you have to hit. So right there, I had to hit that rail and uh, make a basket. The more rails you hit, the more points you get. But obviously, you want to get it on the first try, which uh, is rare for me, by the way, watcher. So just wow, this is uh, so much better than what they showed us at what, GDC or WWDC or whatever. Yeah, they've added a lot. A lot of character, a lot of personality. Um, for sure. I feel kind of bad. Like, I didn't realize how early that game was. I essentially told him, hey, this is not good. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, maybe that helped him out in the long run. Who knows? So I'm not I'm not doing so great in this one. I mean, I, you got to hit that rail with just, like, the perfect kind of English. And, and that's the one thing this game kind of stresses. Like, 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 almost every puzzle is almost a sandbox. Like, you have to hit that rail, and, you know, inevitably that'll lead to a hoop. But, I mean... However you touch it, and however strong you hit it, that's all up to you. So you're allowed to kind of like, I don't know, uh, make your own kind of, uh, make your own kind of shot, as opposed to you know, doing what uh, exactly what they say. Yeah, no, this looks really cool. It's definitely cool. I love the little robot mascot, by the way. I don't yeah, know I why. love all the little flourishes they put on the game. Oh man, I wish, I wish we could shoot video of what this looked like when we first saw it. <laughs> this is like a different game. The prototype form. Yeah. I like how Funkadelic it is, too. Uh, you know, I was talking to Mike and Greg for an article, which is going to run alongside this video, so check out touchrk.com. But they said, like, games like Toe Jam and Earl and, and stuff like that really inspired the uh, the look and feel of this. And I should mention that this is launching free-to-play. This is $0, and you get this campaign that I'm, pl I'm playing right now for free with the game. But additional campaigns are going to cost you... I I don't know what the price is for sure, but you can buy a season pass for like $2.99 and get everything forever, which, you know, is a pretty good deal. And these campaigns are long, and they have like multiple twists, so you can actually go back through this campaign and, and play like a scoring mode and things like that. There's there's a lot of gameplay here. Hmm. Boy, I hate that word, but... Gameplay. Oh, this looks like some serious polished gameplay here. Yeah, definitely refined. Hidden gem. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. So wait, you get points if it goes... Oh, no, no, no. You have to go down through the hoop. I guess. Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how I can break this here and get to the hoop. Yeah, so the more barriers you hit, the more points you get. There we go. And uh, you get you get more points, too, if you get a swish. Like, if you don't actually hit the backboard, I think it's a thousand. Ooh! A thousand nice. points. First try. Oh. Big Bad Brad Nicholson. <laughs> Master of video games. <laughs> Basically, what what I want to do here is I'll, I'll walk you through the different campaigns and stuff like that. There's also a multiplayer mode. It's asynchronous, and it's it's really cool. So like you actually get to set up um, these these rails and things like that. And at the beginning of every match, you spin like basically a wheel of fortune uh, wheel, and it tells you how many uh, obstacles you're allowed to use. And you set them up, you make the shot, and uh, you see if your opponent can make it too. And then your opponent sets up a different shot. And mm. You play to, you know, you do the playground thing. It's horse. This is such a good touchscreen game, too. Dude, yeah, it is slick. I mean, this game feels great. I should add. If only they had a virtual D-pad. Yeah, that's definitely what it needs. Every game needs that. So, am I understanding this right? In that you just, you need to hit the red one, but if you hit the white ones, so it's just bonus points? Yeah, exactly. Huh. Exactly. So that was Robala in 101. Let's go to Cosmo Jam World, which introduces some new obstacles as well. And uh, I'm especially not good at this one. Introduces a portal. So bank it off that rail, go into a portal, and it comes out the other side. This is pretty hard. Um. Nice. 
nice. I know, I know. I'm, I'm so how, how, do you feel like this is uh, a little luck based for you, or are you actually like plotting your shots out and doing things in an intelligent manner? Well, it's it's interesting. So you could totally brute force solutions, just because like the nature of the level design, you pretty much. I mean, everything is guided towards the hoop, uh, and, and sometimes when you just drill it, you can just make it in, right? But uh, you can also think about it, and uh, you know, the more you do, and the more barriers you hit, and, uh, the more touch you put on it, the better you're going to score, I mean, ultimately. But it's kind of nice that you can kind of just play around with it and make the shot, too. Considering it can get pretty frustrating once you're sitting here for like five minutes being like, what is going on? This level introduces pinball mechanics, basically, a little flipper that hits oh, the yeah. ball. That's really cool. Man, this is so much better. <laughs> you see, I, like, I can't stress enough how big of a jerk I feel like now. Well, you know, like I, I think it just goes to show like how, how unrepresentative the prototype phase is, which is usually why us, you know, why we as a website typically don't cover prototypes because they are so early and they are they aren't so indicative. I mean, like maybe the game idea, but even those change through the development process. I mean, when when we first saw this game, it was like, hey. Here's our new game. You flick a basketball in a hoop. <laughs> I was like, right. um, what? Yeah. Oh, man. And uh, if you miss a shot, you can actually just click on the ball and the robot burns it. You've, you've seen me do that a billion times so far. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh. So this seems like the perfect kind of game for, like, uh, unlockable different types of balls. Oh, good call. I actually haven't seen those yet. Uh, they do plan on adding content, which is kind of a nebulous word. I do hope. I do hope there are new balls. There is a blue ball when you go into practice mode. And actually, uh, uh, whenever we're done kind of taking a tour through the campaign, I'll show you practice mode, which lets you make whatever the hell you want. Which is kind of interesting. Kind of fun. Play around sandbox. Oh, my goodness. So on the top of the screen here, you've got what looks like five balls. Mm -hmm. What does that do? I think, uh, and, and again, because I mess up so much, I, I don't really get it within five balls, but I, I think that's like the selection shots you get for the maximum points. You actually get graded at the end of every level right here. Like, okay, so. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, so you nail it in five attempts, you get more points and things like that. It's kind of like a three-star system, basically, in every other game. Here's the Dunk Works. Which uh, is everything, but it also adds kind of like an inertia wheel. So when your ball hits that, oh. it actually it actually spins the ball a different way, so it bounces uh, against the grain, I guess you could say. Oh, I see. Which is pretty tough. I mean, like, especially when you get into uh, you know the, these later levels like this, when it starts integrating all the saw blades, all the rails, the teleporters, the pinball bumpers, stuff like that. It's kind of Rube Goldbergian almost. Have you so far playing the game? Have you uh, seen anything that like destroys your ball? Yes, saw blades cut them in half, um, and there's some other stuff too. It's not coming to mind immediately. Ugh, there you go. Swish. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, this shot's gonna be a horrible. Spot. I'm not. I'm not so good at touch. That'll work. Whatever. Great. <laughs> There's also, uh, I, don't, I don't think we've seen them so far, there, there's uh, conveyor belts as well, which uh, spin your ball a little bit quicker, which is basically kind of what this obstacle's doing too. I mean, I wish almost, uh, in some respects, the the multiplayer wasn't asynchronous, just so I could kind of show you what's going on here, but but I like the nature. It's super snappy too, I was, I was really impressed. It uses Game Center. There's no fooling around, like you just, you set everything up, it takes like five seconds, you take a shot. Like super snappy, super breezy, and that's kind of what you want. Like a lot of these asynchronous games are starting to get a little sluggish, just because, yeah. you know, they're turn-based. This game is really just kind of like, just do this, this, and this, go. Well, another benefit of this style of game for that is, you know, it only takes you a second to do your turn. Right, exactly, yeah. Which is so nice. So even if you had a ton of these games going... You know, it'd be almost like a disc driving kind of thing where your involvement is only a few seconds, even to take a bunch of turns. Mm -hmm. yeah. Compared to like Words with Friends, I feel like I always get carried away with Words with Friends and yep. I'll have like 30 games going and then just dread opening it because I don't have <laughs> the hour to make all my moves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, one thing to mention about this game too that I forgot at the top, like Mike and Greg have had a really hard time pitching this because it's not exactly 
not exactly a basketball game, right? And it's not like a straight up shot for shot matching game either. It's more of like yeah. a physics based puzzler, similar to like Amazing Alex. And you know, writing about this game too is like beating your head against a wall. Because you're trying to figure out how to pitch it to somebody. You're just kind of like, you know, I can call this, you know, a game like Amazing Alex, but that's not really super accurate. I can call it a basketball game, that's not accurate at all. I mean, it has a basketball and a hoop, that's about it, you know? It's it's a, it's a difficult game, which also, uh, according to Michael Gray, kind of fed into the business model. They're like, well, we can't pitch this, so let's make it free. That way, <laughs> that way, if somebody's like, hey, have you tried basketball? It's really cool. And the guy's like, what is it? I don't know. And then they just check it out and try it because it's free, so whatever, right? Is that an actual conversation you've had with someone? No. No, I don't think I've ever been stuck in that situation. Although, writing about this game kind of made me feel like that. Yeah, I almost wanted our preview to be, I don't know, check it out on test flight. It'll be free, too. <laughs> whatever. So let's go into practice mode real quick, just so you can kind of get a sense of what you'll be doing in multiplayer as well, whenever you construct a level. Super easy editor, by the way. You just uh, click and drag, and with a pinch you can rotate too, and you can try out your inventions immediately. This one's pretty simple. It took me about an hour to make. Boom. You can just add more stuff too. Everything in the game is completely open in uh, this mode, and I would assume any new level and like content updates, kind of like cut the rope, will introduce new mechanics, you know, new little obstacles and stuff like that, which is pretty so is, cool. Is there a limit to the amount of obstacles you can have, or can you just just go nuts? I haven't hit it yet. I'll, I'll keep everything on screen just so. We got some saw blade action here. For no it's reason. pretty cool. I mean, this seems to be like another opportunity they could have used to like juice users for money by doing kind of like a um, you know draw something thing, where like you know you get like if you make these levels, you get like the basic stuff. Oh right, yeah. They chose not to, good guys. Oof. God, this I'm such a good basketball game creator. Now, do you do you need to have uh, beaten the level in order to submit it for like multiplayer? I don't think so. I wonder how that's going to work out. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Because, like, what, what happens if you send someone a game with, you know, an unbeatable level? Right. Well, I mean, if it's unbeatable, you can't score either. So no one, no one scores. I mean, like, the it, it's pretty cool because there's a sandbox mode inside the asynchronous player. So you can always just kind of test out your shots, make sure you hit it consistently. And then finally, when you go into live mode, you'll drill it. And you get, like, five five tries, too. And you can always go back into practice mode, too, if you find out your shot's a little too hard. It's kind of weird. It's almost like a strategy game in that respect, too. Because, uh, you know, you try to figure out your opponent's weakness and try to attack that. This is uh, actually uh, another mechanic we, we didn't get to see. It just speeds up your ball. The little uh, button with the arrow. And this one's another one we haven't seen. It's a gravity inverter. Let me see if uh, I'll figure out a smart way to integrate this into the level here. This level's getting kind of crazy right now. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, oh, neat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can, you can move around the hoop, too, obviously, and stuff like that. Let me see if I can figure out a smart way to, to do this, to show it off. I want it to go kind of slow here, so... I think you get the idea, regardless. What if I moved it? Oh, well, I need something for it to bounce off of now. Let's just do this. Switch. Nice. <laughs> the advantage of making your own levels. Obviously, the greatest level ever created in Gasketball so far. If you can't beat it, just make it easier. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, that's uh, that's Gasketball. It's being submitted uh, as we speak, and... Uh, you know, hopefully it'll be out within the next couple weeks. I would say maybe next week, but you never know with these kinds of things. So we'll keep you updated. Free cool. to play, Mike and Greg. Good stuff, man. I love yeah. it. Looks awesome. Yeah, for sure.